In my opinion, Hoyland and Evans were the linchpin to this victory. Hoyland's hold-up and link-up play was very good throughout the game and gave United a forward pivot for players to run off. Starting with his link play, Fernandes lets the ball run past him for Hoyland. At the time Hoyland is about to play this pass, Fernandes isn't even visible to him, but shows great spatial awareness and plays a nice first-time pass. He's got back into this defensive position, the ball breaks to him and despite being under pressure, he gets the ball out of his feet and plays another good pass to start an attack. He picks up a loose ball here and plays a lovely pass to put Garnaccio in, but he then backs up the play by getting into the box. The ball goes into Hoyland and he is stretching to control the ball. It's good control, he goes past Mengi and plays a nice ball out to Rashford to get United moving forward. Moving on to his hold up play, this ball has been fired for by Inanna. The ball has just bounced, making control more difficult for Hoyland, but instant control and a nice layoff. Shaw has played the ball into Hoyland. We can see that Mengi is all over him, but he holds him off, then rolls him and plays a lovely ball to Mainu. The ball is coming into Hoyland and has his arms out to pin Osho. He holds him off and pops a nice pass off to Garnaccio. This is a crap, slow, bobbly ball from Fernandez into Hoyland, but he gets it under control while holding off Osho and plays another good pass to Garnaccio. Evans came on just before half time. United faced 22 crosses in the second half, with Evans making 10 clearances. It was a huge effort from him. I love this. Despite with no one to mark, he scans over his right shoulder and then over his left shoulder. He is now fully aware of what's around him. He gets into position and makes the clearance. In this situation, he recognises the space and is already on his way to plugging that gap. Bell thinks he is through, but Evans anticipated and cleared. Evans is looking to get back in to cut off a near post cross. It's a decent ball into the near post, but Evans cuts it out with Morris attacking that space behind him. This is a dominant header with three Luton players behind him looking to attack this cross. He was also dominant from corners, winning this header in an area United struggled to defend, hence two Luton players looking to get in there. As Evans is about to win the header, we can see Townsend unmarked in the box because Dallo marks the post. So Luton did their homework, but Evans was there to stop that working. Without the ball, his organisation communication was phenomenal. Here, he is telling Menu to pick up Berry, who got into this pocket of space. And in the same phase of play, he is now pointing at Townsend in a pocket of space, calling for Garnaccio to drop back. The devil's verdict is, comments have been made, especially from Roy Keane, about Evans going back to United at 34. But the reality is, Evans has been a rock for United. The saying goes, form is temporary, class is for life. He deserves a contract extension. Lots of theories have been banded about regarding Hoyland's uplifting form. It's quite simple. United players are now passing the ball to him, which wasn't happening previously. At one point this season, he was averaging receiving 16.5 passes per game, the second lowest of any striker in the league. So the tactical approach of Ten Hag has evolved to use all 11 players on the pitch. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.